Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to some more. Definitely not fried chicken, or in this case, definitely not cooked lobster or crab or other stuff. But, anyways, welcome back. Hopefully, you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day today. We are gonna venture into a new business. We're gonna go to the nightclub. We're gonna set up a nightclub and see how it goes. Um, we're gonna obviously go straight to level three because we don't do anything else. Um, we have eighty thousand dollars to play with here, so we got to go ahead and buy our spot buy a nice piece of land here actually let's start here um looking for oh my gosh prefer business boost the number of customers that visit each day that looks like a nightclub right there let's go ahead and purchase that bad boy uh let's select it for the nightclub oh and let's get okay so top so top license purchase clean your own business accessible customer toilets all products available blah, blah, blah. okay so same stuff that we're always into but what do we have here so we have the actual nightclub itself oh my gosh dance floor We've got a cash register, counters, counter with flaps, counter with logos, door entry for collecting entry fees to the club, uh, small table, sits two customers, four table, for counter with fridge, and then we've got huge speakers, and then, oh, there's a VIP lounge. Oh, let's go. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be super cool. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get this figured out here. Um, it looks like this should be the front right here. So let's go ahead and let's get building. Um, so we're gonna build and we're gonna build the nightclub first, I guess. I feel like that's, I guess that's the first thing you build here. Uh, so we're gonna go over to, and let's see. So I guess there's like, I guess we'll do something like that. And then we need a VIP lounge, which maybe we'll throw over here. So that'll be the VIP lounge area. Um, and then let's see, we've got our storeroom, obviously that's going to probably go in right here. Um, and then let's see what else do we have storeroom, nightclub, VIP lounge. We have, um, oh, we have the customer toilets that can go in right there. And then we'll have our staff toilets that can go in like right there. And then our staff break room that can go in right here. Perfect. Okay. So all that stuff's in here, but now let's go ahead and let's get, uh, let's get the fun stuff. Going. Okay. So the club itself, let's get some doors in here um so door there door there and then the nightclub itself okay so we have to have these for collecting entry fees into the club so where do i need to have this at how do how do i get this to function like do do we have to have like walls or okay here you know what i have an idea i think what we need is um well hold on a second okay because we've got counter for service cash registers uh for service for cash registers door entry for collecting entry fees into the club allows access to counter areas so do i put like okay so if i put this like that and this like that is that what i'm supposed to do and then am i supposed to put counters like am i supposed to attach these with counters like this and then see i'm not exactly sure like how are they supposed to get in like, are they supposed to just walk through? Like, are they going to pay first? I don't, I'm not actually, I'm not actually sure. So we'll just leave that like, oh, you know what? Actually, I just realized that that's not even, that's not squared because we have two here and we only have one here. So let's move this over. And is that right? That doesn't look right either. Oh, it's because I'm one further away from the door. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So I guess that's our entry area. And then, um, so this is cold drinks. That makes me think we need like a bar area. So, uh, this is going to be our back room area. Obviously we're going to need, uh, some things here. So actually, you know what? We'll throw the bar right here on this side. So, cause they're going to need a door. Um, and then this is a bathroom and then this is the VIP lounge right there. This is going to be the bathroom stock room. Okay. So let's see, let's see nightclub. Let's go ahead and let's get a surface counter for cash registers. Let's go ahead and bring it out here like this. We're gonna need drinks. Actually, you know what? Let's just get the countertop in first and then I'll go through and delete stuff and put drinks in. Um, okay, so there's that. And then counter inner, counter outer. So we'll go ahead and put this in here. And then let's see, a flap will go here. Okay, and then I noticed that these guys have, um, some of these have uh, shelving underneath of them. So I think we probably want most of shelving, right? I, I mean, I don't know why we wouldn't. I think it was these ones. So we'll put those in there. And then uh, we need cash registers. 
So I'll put one there, one there, one there, and then one here. And then what we'll do is we'll get rid of that one, this one, that one, and this one. And then we'll go ahead and put in drinks like that. Because why not? I guess. <laughs> I I guess. You know, I'm not I'm not exactly sure how this whole nightclub thing is gonna work. Um, okay, so we have that, and then we have a large dance floor. Okay, hold on. What about these speakers? Blast music to the surrounding area. So let's see. Um, usually, we want. Let's say we want the dance floor probably in this area. We'll do something like that uh, because that's where you probably want the loudest music, right? So we'll throw these in here like that. And there's all, there's all of our loud music and we'll go ahead and throw some, we'll throw some, uh, smaller speakers over here because you still want to be able to hear everything. You know what I mean? But you don't want, you don't want too much. You don't want too much over here. You want the, you know, the blasting to be on the dance floor. Um, okay. So we have, uh, we've got that. So let's go ahead and get some seating in here now. Okay. So there's those seats. That's four seats. And then we'll, we'll put some two tops, um, Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put these over here, maybe. So there's a couple two tops. There's some four tops right there. Uh, that looks pretty good. I think we've got everything in here, right? We've got that. We've got that. We've got counters. So that looks good. Okay, so there's like our main club. Oh, this looks super cool. All right, let's check out our VIP lounge. Ooh, extra fancy here. Uh, cocktail bar for serving drinks and coffee. $3,800. Oh, you know what? It's interesting that there's not one. Oh yeah, they can't go sit at the bar. They have to grab their drinks and go sit down. So the VIP lounge, they actually have like a bar. Oh man, this is cool. Okay, so let's see here. Let's get in. Oh, there's like corner drapes and like artworks and stuff. Fish tanks. No way. Um, counter with logo. Counter with flap. Counter outer. Counter inner. Counter. Is there? Where is the? Where do they get the drinks from? So if I go through and place these in here, like something like this, and then we go ahead and place that and we throw a flap in here. Where's the, where's the drinks coming from? Do I need to put these in here? I'm a little confused. I'm a little confuzzled. Actually, you know what? We're going to move that. We're going to put the, we're going to put another thing right here. So if they need to go out the door, they can. And you know, what? let's actually move. Well, no, let's put that door right there, right there in the middle. Okay. So there's that. And then we've got these high tops. Oh, I see the drinks come from this device. Okay. So, um, hold on. Let's go ahead. We need to be making, well, we are making some money here. Okay. These are expensive. Okay. So we've got those. There's our drinking stations. Um, holy moly. Those are expensive. Okay. And then we need to get some couches in here. How much are these couches? Okay. The couches aren't that expensive. I was gonna say, I was like, hopefully the couches aren't that expensive. Um, there's some couches in here. Okay, and then uh, do we want couches uh, sitting across from each other? I mean, might as well. And then let's see, let's get some art stuff in here for people to look at because, like, why not? Okay, so there's artsy fartsy stuff. Uh, ooh, large carpets. Okay, so we got carpets in here. Oh my gosh, we gotta get some corner drapes in here. Oh my gosh, let's go. That's too cool. Get some regular drapage in here. No way. <laughs> this is a, wait, can we throw one in this corner? Oh, yes, we can. Um, and then a fish tank. Oh, we've got to have a fish tank in here. Oh, where are we throwing? You know what? Let's take this guy out and let's throw the fish tank in right there. Look at that VIP lounge. Man, we have spent $125,000 on this place already. <laughs> this is insane. It's so expensive. Oh, my gosh. It's so expensive. Okay. So we've got all that stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is so much fun. I like this one. Oh, I can't wait to do the casino next. The casino is going to be fun as well. All right, so now we need definitely um, a few bathrooms in here. A few sinks, hand dryers. That looks good. So there's those. Um, and then we are going to need definitely a storeroom. What kind of nightclub can you have without having a product? You know what I mean? And actually, you know what's funny is we don't even have any product. We have, we're not even making the product for this yet, so we'll just set those in there and then let's go ahead and put, uh, we'll put a nice, we'll put a, oh, I can't, I, wait, what? Unlock at local businesses. I already unlocked all of these. Did I knock, maybe I didn't unlock all of those. All right, we'll put the reinforced door on there. Okay, so there's all of that. Um, so staff toilet, 
right there boom boom another sh we'll give him a shower i don't know why they need a shower but i mean i guess if you know somebody pukes all over him or something maybe <laughs> and then uh, a staff break room because they you know they always need somewhere to sit okay that looks pretty good good enough all right so our our whole area is done here now do we want do we want windows i don't think we want too many windows you know what i'm saying i don't feel like too many windows are the thing that you want nightclubs are usually um pretty pretty shaded off like there's not, not a whole lot you can see from the outside otherwise people would just watch from the outside just have a good time on the outside okay so what do i need here um we need so if we go to employees uh workers engineers cleaners okay so let's go ahead and pause let's get our an engineer and a cleaner hired um that is easy peasy so the work time from here is 20 to 8 so let's get a schedule in here let's get a new schedule and let's go from 20 to 8 we'll get rid of everything else and this will be like our baseline okay so let's do uh, we'll rename this to cl uh club and i'm actually going to duplicate that so we're going to have one Actually, you know, what? I'm just gonna leave that one alone. Okay, so let's go ahead and do um, club cleaner. They have to work the whole time, unfortunately. Feel bad for them. And then we'll have um, club worker one, which is gonna be just the standard worker here. And they're gonna get here early. Actually, they're gonna be on break before and after just to make sure that they're at least, well, you know what? No, they're fine. All right, so club worker one, and then they can take breaks. Oh man, they're at a club. Do they really need a break? Yeah, we'll go ahead and give them a break every four hours. We'll do that. Okay, they'll get two breaks. Then we'll go ahead and duplicate that, and then this will be club worker two, and then we're going to duplicate the club cleaner, and that's gonna be we're gonna go ahead and do club engineer. Now I don't think the engineer will give him a break, but I don't think he's gonna have a whole lot to do to be completely honest. So that's club engineer. We don't have anybody in a kitchen. Yeah that's, yeah, that's it. And then we're going to just need shelf stalkers. So what we need is, um, let's go back to our nightclub. Employees, people. Engineer, we already got an engineer. So let's go ahead and select you to uh, club engineer. And then cleaner. Let's go ahead and set you to club cleaner. And then I guess workers. Let's go ahead and get, because we're probably going to need somebody at the front. We're gonna need people here, we're gonna need people here. So let's do one, two, three, four. Oh gosh, we are actually super like out. Um, okay. So A, what is this? Okay, so we're gonna do club worker one for drinks. Um, I don't have enough money to hire anybody else right now. So we're gonna do club worker one for is this I don't know if that's a bouncer. And then we'll do club worker one for this, I guess, too. So club worker one for the cash register, which is that. Um, I'm not sure what the other one is though. So then we'll do, I guess we'll go ahead and do another club. We'll do club worker two for the other drinks. And we'll just kind of see where people land. Uh, we also need to get, just get more money. We'll hire, hire more people. Okay, so that should work. And then inventory on all these guys. We obviously want the fast. Oh, I don't have enough money for all the fast boy boots. Okay. And then we also don't have any, we don't have any shelf stalkers right now, but you know what? We don't have nothing to stock the shelves with. Okay, so that's everything. Let's go ahead and open the shop and let's go. Let's see how this, oh my gosh, let's see how this does. I'm so excited. Uh, it doesn't even open for another, another six hours. Wonderful. Okay, actually, so since we have another six hours, uh, we have a little bit more money and people just uh, basically came in. We're going to go ahead and hire, um, let's see, we need, two, let's hire two more. And these are going to be club worker twos on the other two items that we had. So whatever that is. And then a club worker two on whatever this one is. Okay, so we're coming up on the 20 hour mark here. So things should, it should start opening up here shortly. We're making all kinds of money left and right. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, but I want to see this place get open. Our coolers are actually breaking down. So, and I'm actually kind of curious. So these things right here don't seem to be breaking down. The speakers also seem to be breaking down. So the... The, the engineer is definitely gonna have some work to do once he gets here. Oh, is there? Oh, these are our workers. Oh, they look so fancy. Okay, so there is our engineer. He's gonna come in here and start cleaning up everything. Okay, so what happens here? Okay, who is this? So this is the thing is, I don't know how people are gonna, are these people just gonna walk in? Okay, so he's getting served. 
so that's fifty dollars so how are they supposed to like because some of these guys like he's just walking right past okay hold on something something's weird here something is weird here there's something not right i messed up something here so if i go to the nightclub are they supposed to let them in because they're not paying or are these supposed to just be along the walls what are what are these what are they paying for for collecting entry fees to the club so how do i do i need to put like like something like this i want to see what happens now because like somebody's gonna come in they just walk right through huh they're not even paying to get in isn't the whole point for them to pay a cover charge okay maybe i'm doing something wrong here um i'm gonna move some of this stuff around here a little bit maybe it's because they're not uh coming in directly in contact with it or something um so let's go ahead and oh whoops that's what i wanted get rid of that we're gonna move some stuff okay so we're gonna have this door here but then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move these guys actually you know what we're gonna have a single door we have a single door like that and then we're gonna move these guys like this like that and then we're gonna put these in here like this maybe it'll grab them before they go through i don't know i'm not sure how this works we'll see how this works okay maybe maybe they have to walk through here before they're like willing to pay for something i have no idea this guy's out here on the floor dancing it up these guys are back here in the vip area drinking it up having having a few cocktails having a good time what in the heck are you kidding me somebody peed on the floor are you absolutely kidding me what in the absolute heck is that about okay let's see this guy's coming in no they none of them are paying to get in what do you do you're looking for work hmm i don't understand this oh this guy's like okay hey i need to pay and nobody's gonna go help him hmm a little confused on how the club works okay you know what i think you know what happened i moved these guys and i bet you these guys don't know where to go now Alrighty, so I was watching these guys, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm like, what is, what's going on with these? So basically, um, they just kind of pay as they want. I don't know what the deal is. However, they are lining up, so we actually do need to move this a little bit around, which is probably going to cause some issues once again, but that's okay. So we're actually going to go ahead, and we're only going to have two of these. We'll have one here, and then I think we'll have one. Let's see, is that is that about right? One, two. I think that looks pretty good. So let me go ahead and move these around. Uh, but yeah, we only really need probably two of these. And we also just need to be able to like have a line. Actually, you know what? Let's just do this. Where did they go? Where did I, where did I just put them? Let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's have two of them. Let's just do that. And then we'll put this here. And then we'll just put this. Cause I guess, I guess they could have a counter like to stand behind. If that makes sense. So like, well, actually here. We need this one now. So we'll do that. That'll give them a counter to stand behind. And then, is this the counter that we need for this one? No. All right, so yeah, we'll just do that. And then boom, there's like the little pay to get in thing right there. Uh, so that'll work. And then they can line up right here. Um, I guess they just, like, they just, they, they're supposed to go in and pay. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Also, another thing I was kind of interested in is um so we can only have like 11 types of or 11 people here at a time what kind of club has 11 people in it at a time like you know what i mean like what kind of club only has 11 people you know what the kind that's just a front for something else that's exactly what it is <laughs> so um but yeah we have a uh, we have drinks people here uh this guy's waiting what are you doing man i think he's waiting oh this guy's coming over here to help him so we have some drinks out here which is fantastic um this uh this vip lounge area is getting used up quite a bit though these these spots right here so yeah um but yeah that's that's pretty much everything the the nightclub is done um we have plenty of dance i made this way too big i think because <laughs> like if we can like 11 or 16 people in here max like yeah i think it's 16 if i use the billboards so yeah, um, and then there's a guy waiting right here, of course. Like, uh, where's our, where's our, where's our guy at? He's supposed to be working this. Why are you not over here? Oh, you know what? I moved him. I probably broke it again. Uh, yeah, that's probably what happened. <laughs> but yeah, there's our nightclub. And uh, well, so the items that we need for this, let's actually go ahead and take a quick peek here um, at the the <laughs> the coca. Uh, so we are gonna need the the we have the starter kit, but like, what's the top tier stuff here? So we have the a flaming pot. A refiner, large cooling rack, fast chemical pour, a pure one, an auto. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay. We are going to have a lot to figure out with this. 
you know what let's go ahead let's let's pop over to our factory here and let's see we've got the area that is going to be doing this is you know what honestly i'm actually thinking about putting it back in here because like we have this whole area back here um we have these areas over here and we could put it over here however i mean like we're getting kind of like a far away from this well you know what though we probably want them to be away from everything don't we you know what? Let's just kind of get in here. I want to actually want to see here what we got going on. So if I go into the build menu and we go into this. So we've got crack, crack, a crack pot. It's a crack pot. Then we got a uh, raised drying mat. We have our drying mat, raised drying mat. And then we have our chemical pour, fast chemical pour, auto press. We've got a large cooling rack and an improvised. Now, do these all use the similar? It looks like they all use the same thing. Wait, hold on. This one added something. Refining, pressing, cutting. So let's see, dry, pour, press, and rest, and cut. Dry, pour, press, rest, and cut. Dry, pour, press, rest, refine, and then cut. Okay, so that's something else. But those are really the only three things that we need. And we've got these little growing pots. So, hmm. Uh, garages are gonna go right here. There's a skeleton on the top of that truck, my gosh. Uh, the garages are gonna go right here. So I'm actually thinking maybe we should just go ahead and throw it on. I guess maybe we should go ahead and maybe we should try to buy some of this area down here. Uh, I bet you that's expensive though. So if I wanted to go ahead and pick up 22.5, that's actually not terrible. That's not terrible. Uh, or, I could pick up this plot back here. Yeah, you know, let's go ahead and pick up that plot and that plot. Okay, so we could probably start stuff in here. Basically, I'm gonna bring this down, expand the garage out. We'll start with our our, our basic stuff up here. And uh, yeah, I kind of figured that out. But you know what? That is actually gonna end this episode. Um, yeah, next episode, we're gonna get into, we'll go ahead and make our lab here. Actually, is it a lab? Is it is it considered a lab? Um, it is a lab. <laughs> oh gosh, this is going to be interesting. Um, I'm curious to see what the, uh, like what the side effects are, you know, like with the things we're going to have to deal with here. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll check that out in the next episode, but that's going to end this one. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you all had a wonderful time. We got ourselves a successful nightclub started. It's pretty cool. Pretty fancy. I gotta say, um, we don't have a lot of people, but you know what? <laughs> I guess that's kind of the point, isn't it? Not having a ton of people because it's, uh, <laughs> well, it's a front. So, yeah. Thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.